While Sally prepares her letter for Santa Claus, today's video we're going to be having a look at the memory lane at Charlie Brown's Christmas, Sally Brown. Sally comes included with her letter to Santa, an opening mailbox, and a snowscape display base. To figure out how tall Sally stands, we're going to take the tape measure, put it right to the top of her head. There we go. That's about right. According to the tape measure, little Sally stands 4.8 inches in height, which translated to centimeters, she stands 12.4 centimeters in height. And how does she stack up with her older brother? There she is next to Charlie Brown. She, of course, much like in the animated feature and all the other Charlie Brown specials, she is a lot smaller than Charlie Brown. For her accessory, she comes with this clipboard with a piece of paper that she's writing out her letter to Santa Claus. And the letter to Santa Claus reads the following. <clears throat> Dear Santa Claus, how have you been? Did you have a nice summer? How is your wife? I have been extra good this year, so I have a long list of presents that I want. Please note the size and color of each item and send as many as possible. If it seems too complicated, make it easy on yourself. Just send money. How about tens and twenties? Uh, the paper is not removable. It's sculpted to the plastic here. Uh, the plastic has the metal clip here on the clipboard painted in silver. Again, the nice, clear, readable font, and I like that as well. It does hold in her hand, but it's sort of, you have to wedge it in there for her to get it to properly hold. I find it actually more successful if you put it in this hand rather than the other hand. And she, she, again, does hold it quite well. Now, even though it doesn't fit necessarily in it just yet, she does also come with a working mailbox, which is pretty cool. The mailbox creaks and squeaks, and every time I'm opening and closing it, I feel like it's about to break. A lot of that can be chalked up to the fact that the type of plastic that they used is just really noisy, and it does feel like, especially the cracking sounds, it feels like I'm going to break it every single time that I open it. It would have been nice if there were some letters that could have been included inside the mailbox, but that, you know, I'm not going to overly nitpick that. It's painted very nicely and has a very similar snow to the base in which that's going to come included with the figure. Now, if you look at the display base, there is absolutely nothing different. There's the one that came included with Charlie Brown. There's nothing different between that, the one that came with Charlie, the one also that came included with the psychiatric deluxe set that we've already had a look at first and foremost. Part of me kind of thought, hmm, that's a shame. I've already mentioned the deluxe set, and I actually should have done it after the fact. I should have probably looked at these ones singular and then look at the, the deluxe set after the fact. But ultimately, the way it is, and just the way I recorded stuff, I looked at that one first and foremost. It's not super big of a deal, but I just felt the need to mention that. So we're going to move all this stuff out of the way. I'm going to move the mailbox out of the way as well, and let's have a look at Sally, a very happy-looking Sally. One thing that makes me happy is that she doesn't have any of the problems that Charlie Brown plagued with, with like this kind of oil that was coming out from the pores, from the limbs. Anything that you moved on Charlie seemed to be things that would have been leaking this sort of residue that was left over. Sally luckily doesn't have that, but unfortunately, one thing she does have is she has really loose legs. Now, she can still stand, but from periodic time here and there, she does topple over. You may, when you are putting her down, at least what I'm doing, kind of leaning her back a little bit so that it's less likely that the figure's going to topple forward. It's a shame that the way that they've done the articulation, it, first of all, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's not as if you can actually have them running. Running would have been ideal, like if you had them walking, for example, but there's nothing on a display base here, for example. It's completely flat, minus, of course, the texturing that they've added to the base, but there's nothing really that can attach to her leg. So even if you wanted to have her walking, for example, flailing those bunny ears about, you can't really do that because, well, she just doesn't have enough footprint to stay upright. 
I guess you could kind of compensate it by having one foot flat and the other foot angled back. And as long as there's enough footing on one of them, you can sort of get her to balance. It looks as almost more so that she's skating than it does actually look like she's walking. Uh, for her outfit, she comes with her classic uh, Sally bow, polka dot, or like a little circular polka dot, even though it's really like the same coloring. She's got also a, po a polka dot blue dress. Now over top of that being that she is also outside, she's got her uh, boots on, little snow boots, and she's also got her snow jacket on. It's the nice wrinkles and stuff that they've added to the jacket. It ultimately boils down to the same posability that all of these Peanuts, char Peanuts characters have. It's this swivel on the form. It looks awkward at times. It doesn't really ever look like it's right unless you just have it completely straight. Even if you angle it on the side, I guess, well, some of it doesn't look too terrible. But other times when you are bending the arm, it just ultimately looks like she's got a broken arm. Uh, posability on her. Let's go ahead and just get those arms all straightened up. Uh, she does have pretty much the standard same posability that all of the Charlie Brown characters have had so far. And future characters, I'll give you just an FYI, they're probably all the same as well. Head rotates all the way around, and it actually only rotates by where it's pegged to the neck. The top of the head is part of the neck. It's all one piece. The arms hinge back and forth. You sort of have to get it over top of their gumdrop-shaped body. The arms rotate. Kind of that steering wheel action happening there. And you can also rotate the individual hands. Uh, the waist swivels. I guess, I guess uh, theoretically, it makes sense to have a swiveling waist. But, I mean, really, I'm going to probably have all the characters facing forward. If I'm ever going to twist them to the side, I don't know. I guess it looks okay, but I'm probably more inclined to bring them bring the waist forward and just having standing straight forward but she does have these swiveling happening there and then of course you can move the legs back and forth what is going on with the peg holes on the undersides of their feet it's sort of a tease from memory lane they give it to us and then it's like what am i really going to do with it none of the stands have pegs none of the stands all the stands seem to be relying on this go-to that it makes no sense whatsoever why they would have peg holes and yet sally much like charlie brown has peg holes on the undersides of her feet well sally finishes off her letter to santa claus we're going to finish up this review and final looks having a look at the figure which overall i'm pretty happy with i was happy with the charlie brown as well it's just a shame that he had to have all that extra weird stuff all over him Sally doesn't have any of that oil slick, so luckily that's one for one. And uh, hopefully all the future Charlie Brown characters that we're going to look at also don't have the same problems that poor Chuck has. Like Charlie Brown doesn't have enough problems in his life. This one I like because it does have the working mailbox. And being that all the display bases connect together, essentially you can build yourself a much larger scene, which I'm going to try to do near the end of all the videos. Yes, there's going to be a lot more Charlie Brown Christmas figure reviews coming up to this channel. The best way to guarantee you that you haven't missed out or won't miss out on any of the future videos is making sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. If Christmas isn't your thing, don't worry. There's going to be some other stuff coming onto this channel as well. I would beg the question to ask why you, Christmas isn't your thing, but certainly um, if you don't want to watch Christmas related reviews and you want to watch other stuff, you know, like horror reviews and superhero reviews, don't worry, we're going to have a whole bunch of that happening on this channel as well. We're going to sort of, like I said, sprinkle them throughout the month of December. So you're going to get a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of regular non-Christmas reviews. It should cater to everybody that generally comes to this channel on a regular basis. And thank you, by the way, for doing that. Uh, more videos, guys, will be coming your way, so make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Make sure as well you swing over to the main page when you're also done in this video to check the other reviews that I've posted. See if there's anything that you may have missed along the way. I'm always posting new content as regular reviewers, regular viewers would know watching this channel on a regular basis. This guy, me, I'm always posting new stuff. So make sure you check the thumbnails on the main page and see if there's any reviews that you may have missed. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. And I'll see you next time.